Okay, so this is day two of subtraction with integers. And um, today what we're gonna do is just gonna, we're gonna practice some more. And then we're gonna also talk about um, how to conceptually think about subtraction with integers. And we're gonna need to keep our hands to ourselves back there um, off of your knee. Okay, so let's take a look at our notes. So when we subtract, we find the difference. Go ahead and fill that in. I want you to stop thinking of subtraction and I want, I, I don't want you to think of me thinking about taking away. All right. That's what subtraction means, right? Taking away typically. But I want you to think about subtraction now in terms of difference. You are maturing in terms of your math understanding. And really what this means is difference. What's the difference between 10 and two? What is it guys? Eight, right? What's the difference between five and three? What's the difference between five and negative three? What's the difference between five and negative three? Eight. You guys, yeah, so think about a number line. Like if you're, if you're placing five, oh yeah, I can write this. One. We got a number line, here's zero, here's five, here's negative three, Here's the difference. What's the difference? It would be eight. Okay, so stop thinking of subtraction, start thinking of difference, okay? All right, so an easy way, we're gonna talk about the, like, the procedure plus the concept. And the easy way to subtract with integers is by using the following, copy plus opposite, okay? Copy plus opposite, everybody say it. Okay, so. For example, in number one, you've got negative two minus negative three. That becomes two plus three, which is five. And you don't always need to rewrite it. I would encourage you, I would encourage you to rewrite it when you've got um, a number minus a positive integer because sometimes your brain like forgets that that's a subtraction sign and then you want to just make it a negative. But one easy way to do this is just change subtraction to addition change the negative that follows to the positive. If it's if it's two minus three, then you would change the three to a negative, right? You would make a two plus negative three. Okay, negative two minus negative three becomes negative two plus three, which equals one. So on your paper, you could just do this. Okay, make sure you guys are writing along with me. Negative 10 minus nine. Uh, I want you following along with me, please. Thank you. Negative 10 minus 9. What does that become if we rewrite it? Ainsley? Yeah, great job. Negative 10 plus negative 9. Copy, that's your first integer, plus change subtraction to addition. Opposite is your second integer. So negative 10 plus negative 9. Negative 19. Everybody have that? Moving on. Okay, so this problem from your textbook says, find the distance from A to B. Okay, so really, we can think of this as another word for, for difference, right? Um, what's the difference from, what's the distance from A to B? Uh, Maddie? It would be seven centimeters. And that's the difference, right? Eight minus one? Make sense to everybody? Eyes up here. We're not working ahead today, you guys. Okay, how about the next one? Find the distance from C to D. Oh, now I've got a negative number line, but I still need to find the difference. Okay, so I've got negative one uh, minus negative five. What's my difference or what's my distance? Ashley? Oops. Where to go? Good. Yeah, it's four centimeters. <clears throat> okay. How about, are we good so far? Yeah, go ahead, Annie. And not negative four? Um, because of, let's go back one. Find the difference from A to B, the distance from A to B, excuse me. We took B 
and we subtracted A, right? And we got seven. Find the distance from C. To, I don't love these word problems because I agree with you. Is it negative one minus negative five or is it negative five minus negative one? That makes a big difference, doesn't it? But if we're finding the, the difference between C and D, let's start here at the end point. So distance from C to B and subtract the beginning point, all right, just like we did before. So it becomes negative one minus negative five. And the answer will be four on that one. <clears throat> so let's do the same thing this time. Let's start with the end point and subtract the starting point. Okay, so the end point, if we're finding the distance from E to F, what's the end point of F, you guys? Say it. What is it? Three minus what? Where's E at? Negative two. Great. Am I going to have a positive difference or a negative difference? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Good. Okay. Now we're just going to find the value. These are a little bit easier to do. All right. We want to find the value of negative five minus three. And the question that we need to answer is, why is the difference negative? Okay, so let's do this. First of all, let's look at the number line. We wanna, we're finding the difference between negative five and three. Is that a, is that a big space? Yeah, the, the difference is gonna be greater than, well, let's, let me stop there for just, just a second. All right, let's do this mathematically or procedurally. Negative five, copy plus opposite. What do I write down? Plus, and then what? What? Okay, so what's the answer? Negative eight. Okay, now the question though is, why is the difference negative? All right, Kendall, go ahead. Keep going. No, negative five is less than three. Okay. Let's keep going. Nora, why, why, why is this a negative difference? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Same sign and sum, right? Copy plus opposite and then follow the addition rules. But that's not why. That's the procedure. I'm looking for the why. Yes. Wrong, but I think it might be because negative five is already past zero. Then okay. Subtracting more values from it, and that's less. Yes, exactly. So Maddie's right. So remember, guys, some math words here. The subtrahend sub is under. Okay, so Maddie was right. The difference is negative because when the subtrahend is greater than the minuend, the difference will be negative, okay? Let's do another one. All right, um, now we wanna find the value of negative five minus negative three. Now, is the subtrahend greater or less than the minuend this time? Negative five is right here. Negative three is right here. Is the subtrahend greater or less than the minuend? What is it, Tyler? It's greater. It's closer to zero. Great job. So will I have a negative or will I have a positive difference? I'm going to have a negative difference. Good. So let's do our little copy plus opposite. Negative five plus three equals what, folks? Negative two. Negative two. Great job. Remember to be putting your negatives in parentheses, please. Okay, 
Mm, that's not what I, there we go. All right, let's do these together. Find the value of X minus Y. This is like, let's not get freaked out about the X and the Y, you guys. Just a little bit of algebra for us. You guys are going to be in pre-algebra in seventh grade. Did you know that? I'm going to do this all day long, every day. Nope, not quite yet. But <laughs> you've got a few steps before then. All right, so let's, let's start with our expression, X minus Y. And in letter A, I'm substituting in 4 for X and negative 1 for y. Okay, what's, is negative one greater than or less than positive four? Less than, so while I have a difference that is um, negative or positive, I'm gonna have a difference that's positive. Okay, so copy plus opposite, four plus one, what's my answer, folks? Five. Okay, we had four plus, four minus negative one. Okay, Kala? Yep. So subtrahend is the number that I'm subtracting from the first number. So think about sub under, right? And that'll help you. The subtrahend is what I subtract from the minuend. Does that make sense? It's the second number. Okay. All right, letter B. We're starting again with our expression. X minus Y, X equals negative four. Now this time we have negative four minus one. Whoops, I don't actually need parentheses there. That's a positive. All right, is my subtrahend greater or less than my minuend, folks? What is it? Greater. greater. So will I have a difference that is positive or negative? negative? Negative. Good. All right, copy plus opposite. I'm going to do this in another color so you guys can see. Okay, so negative four. We'll make this a plus sign, and we'll make that one a negative. And what's my answer, folks? Negative five. Okay, C, X minus Y. This time I'm substituting in negative X, or negative four for X and negative one for Y. All right, is negative one greater than or less than negative four? What is it? Greater than, okay, copy. So will I have a difference that is positive or negative? Yeah, if I have a subtrahend that is greater than the minuend, my difference will have to be negative. Think of it this way. Just use like positive numbers. Six minus nine, what's my, what's the answer? Negative three, right? The, the difference would be negative. Okay, so let's do copy plus opposite, four plus, negative four plus one. And what's the answer? Negative three. Negative three, good. And then D, oops, let me change back here. We've got um, X minus Y, one, minus four. We don't even need, we don't need to copy plus opposite this, do we? What's the answer? Negative three. Good. Okay, go ahead and do the Toyo for number 11 there. And hold off on the exit ticket because I have more Toyos for you. We'll go over these in just a second. Okay, two plus negative 10. What's my answer? Isaac Ring. Great job. Four minus negative seven. Anthony. No. Copy plus opposite. Four plus seven. Eleven. Good. Negative seven plus five. Nora. Oh, okay. No. Nope. Annie. Negative two. So when we're doing addition. It's all right, when we do it, so check your check your sheets, guys. When we do addition, you guys remember, same sign sum, or if it's not, um, if they aren't the same signs, different sign difference, but keep the sign of the number with a greater absolute value. That's what you're thinking about with the absolute value. It's just that rule. So different sign difference, we find the difference between negative five, negative seven and five, and then keep the sign of that, okay? Negative four plus negative five, um, the tail. Great, yep. Yeah. Negative seven minus negative three. Caleb? Perfect. Could copy plus opposite that. Negative four minus seven. Thin. No. Maddie? Negative 11. So copy plus opposite. Negative four plus negative seven is how we would do that, okay? 
All right. Um, now we're not going to do that exit ticket quite yet. Now I'm going to have you guys do um, some more. Okay. We'll just do it together. Eric thinks that negative three minus negative five is equal to negative eight. Why is Eric wrong? Isaac Ring. Okay, you're thinking of the addition rule. Same sign sum, keep the sign of, keep the sign. Okay, that's an addition rule. It's okay. Um, but I don't want to, I don't want the rule. I really want the why on this one, you guys, not, not a rule. What do you think, Charlie? Yeah, well, that's a copy plus opposite. That's a rule, right? That's a procedure, but that's not the conceptual why. Annie? Subtrahend. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're weaving together a couple of different things that we talked about. So you you said change the sign, right? That's the copy plus opposite. Yes, yes. We would copy the first integer, change subtraction the pot to a plus sign and change five to the opposite. So it becomes negative three plus five, but that's not my why. That's not my why. Um, that's part, I guess that's part of it though. I mean, he's just doing the wrong thing. He added them instead of subtracted. What do you think, Maddie? Right, okay, keep going. You just like kind of added the two numbers together. Yeah. That's not a difference, is it? He added negative three plus negative five and he got negative eight. That's that's the sum of the two negative numbers, but that's not the difference. What is the answer on that one? Liam? Negative two. Why is it negative? Why is it a negative difference? Um, because you keep the sum because well I changed the number. Oops, hold on. Negative two. Do we say negative two? It's not negative two. I made a mistake. It's positive two. Did you say positive two? Yeah, did I did I mess you up? No, it's positive two. Okay. So procedurally, hey guys, I'm losing you and I'm not sure why, because we're not finished. Um procedurally, we do copy plus opposite, negative three plus five. And that would equal two. But conceptually, you guys, when the subtrahend is less than the minuend, okay, so subtrahend is the second number, negative five is less than negative three because it's farther negative from zero. It's farther along the number line from zero. When it's less than the minuend, we will have a positive difference. Okay. All right. So your homework tonight is the rest of workbook exercise one. You guys can go ahead and get started.